Let's move on to the third email today. And the third email today comes to us from our friend Mike Brown, who writes, So, the upcoming Dark Crystal Age of Resistance series on Netflix has been rumored for quite some time, and with names like Mark Hamill, Taron Egerton, and Andy Samberg, Simon Pegg, Keegan-Michael Key, and Harvey uh, uh, Fierstein, I'm not quite sure about that, uh, are now attached. It looks like it's finally happening. So, do you think we might have another Stranger Things on our hands, or might this be more of a bright situation. <laughs> I, I look, I know there's a lot of people who liked Bright. I thought that movie was awful. I thought it was <laughs> awful, and I was cheering for it all the way. But anyway, let's get back to this thing. Is this our next Stranger Things? It's far impossible to tell. All we know at this point is that we've got a picture and we've got a cast list. So it's really impossible to tell. I will tell you this, though. The Dark Crystal is one of the first movies I remember watching as a kid. And... The the sketchy the the impact the sketchies had. I Joe Wimpa. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just like with Chamberlain and all that kind. Oh of, yeah. The the Dark Crystal was so far ahead of its time. Oh yeah. So far ahead of its time, and I remember this actually this one year I was uh, we were nominated at the Geeky Awards for I can't even remember what we were nominated for, but we were there, and one of the things they had at the ceremony was a life size scale Chamberlain Sketsy. Oh. And I spent more time that night just standing in front of going, like just standing there gawking at this thing. If you guys have not watched The Dark Crystal, oh my God, watch <laughs> The Dark Crystal. The mythology behind it is so moving incredible. And when they announced like over a year ago that they were doing the show, I got very excited. I've been waiting for them to do another movie. I'll take a Netflix series. That's fine. But... The news here is that they did put out their final big list of their cast. Take a look at this cast lineup that we've got here. I was mentioning the email. We got Taryn Egerton, Annie Taylor Joy from Witch, and she's going to be in the upcoming um, X Men uh, uh, X movie. Uh, uh, New Mutants. New Mutants. Thank you. Why did I freeze on that? If uh, that movie ever comes out. Yeah. Well, yes. Well, that's another topic for another time. Nathaniel Emmanuel from the Fast and the Furious movie, and she's also. Um, Khaleesi's right-hand girl right. in Game of Thrones. She's great. Also from Game of Thrones, Natalie Dormer, Helena Bonham Carter, Annie Sandberg, Mark Hamill, Keegan-Michael Key. Also mentioned um, uh, Simon Pegg is in it as well. Also a guy I really like, and I'm freezing on his name right now. He played the captain in Star Trek Discovery Season 1. Uh, what's that? And he was uh, Malfoy's father oh, oh, um, in, Harry, in the um, Harry Potter movies. Why am I why freezing am I on his name? He's great. Yeah. He's great, and I'm freezing on his name, but he's in there also. This is an impressive... He was so, also in the OA, the, the Brit yes, Marling series. Yes, he was. On, so yeah. Taron Egerton, Anna Taylor-Joy, and uh, Emmanuel, they're going to be playing the three lead Gelflings that go off an adventure. Other ad other Gelfling voices are going to be uh, voiced by Dahmer, Helena Bonham Carter, and then Skeksis are going to be voiced by Annie Samberg, Mike Keegan-Michael Key, and Mark Hamill. Yeah. Uh, and what's that? Jason Isaacs, Jason of course. Isaacs, thank you. Course, That's Jason why Isaacs. fact checker Jonathan is fact checker. It's Jonathan. Discovery, so my Jason brain Isaacs. turns to mush. Um, but I mean, I hope Mark Hamill is the Chamberlain. I hope Mark Hamill is Chamberlain. That's so great. But of course, because of the way it is, they're not only going to be voicing Skeksis, they're also going to be voicing the Mystics, right? Because right. if you see, if you see the movie, you'll understand what I mean by they'll be doing both. I am beyond excited for this. I am more excited for this Netflix series than I am for Wit the Witcher series with Henry Cavill. I am more excited for this series than I am about that Lord of the Rings series coming from Amazon. And I'm looking forward to all those series. But this is the one that I've got marked on my calendar. This is why I'm excited about. You're seeing all this. How do you think of this is coming together? Well, it's you know, it's interesting because uh, Dark Crystal came out in 82. Woo. You know, I mean, we're talking, what is that, 36 Long years ago? Long time ago. Um, and, and, you know, it was done with puppets, pre-CG. and the, the By Jim Henson, by, by the way. By Jim Henson Studios. The, the production value and the look of the film is so beautiful and so unique. I mean, it's a little slow going. I watched it recently. But I just sit there and bask in the world and the design and yeah. the characters and... Uh, Sideshow Toys made Gelfling. No. They did, and they're really hard to get. They're really hard to get. Tell me they um, made Skeksis. They didn't. Oh, they, I but would, they might have made. Take all my money right Yeah, there. they might have made, but they made six scale, six scale uh, Gelflings. That's nice. But I, like you, I can't wait to see this show. A again, 
we live in great times. And the fact that somebody brought back the Dark Crystal in grand fashion and you have the, the Henson Company doing it again, yeah. and it's not CG, you know, it's not animated. Like, it's I all love practical puppets. You know, I love Jerry Anderson's Super Marionation shows, and God love what Weta Digital and Weta Workshop has done with the new Thunderbirds. Yeah. But, the, you know, the characters are CG. The models and things are still models, so it's cool. But the fact that they're going to do these as puppets and that they're going to build these the, the elaborate huge sets that they built. Yep. Oh, man, I can't wait to see this show. It's and, be- and the cast lineup is oh, great. Yeah. And I, I love how much and how such a wide variety of things Keegan-Michael Key, he just keeps popping up in all the most random stuff, and it always puts a smile on my face, even in that horrible Predators movie. Yeah. Even then, he was able to bring smiles. Which comes out on Blu-ray today yes. and, and 4K. And by the way, did you see that, that little Toy Story 4 uh, oh. clip with Keegan-Michael Key and... And they uh, do the Neeson thing. And they do the Le- <laughs> Neeson's <laughs> It's so funny. With two, two and minity and whatever kind of words they ended up saying. But that was hilarious. I love seeing him pop up himself. So yeah, bottom line is, we're super excited about seeing this damn 